Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. From the hills of Wyoming to the mountains of Mexico, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were the pioneer's defense against outlaws, hostile Indians, and the forces of nature. His name endures as the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. Silver, the great white stallion, who has deserted his master, the Lone Ranger. For the first time, he disobeyed the masked rider and galloped westward toward the valley where he was born and where he roamed in freedom. The Lone Ranger and Tonto followed his trail, but their mounts were unable to match Silver's speed. On and on he raced, his gleaming hoofs pounding the prairie, his eyes fixed on the distant horizon. At noon, Mag was working in the kitchen of her ranch while Missouri sat on the porch outside. He heard racing hoops in the distance. Dag nabbing. Sounds like one of the ponies broke out of the corral. Coming right this way in without a rider. I... Gee, horse of that. That horse looks like silver. It is silver. Mag! Mag! Where are you? Hey, Mag! Missouri, what are you caterwauling about now? I told you it was Take a look. What, what? That horse coming this way. Look at his split. Missouri. That's a mask man's horse. Something must have happened to the mask man. Here, Silver. Here, Silver. Come here, old boy. Here, Silver. Well, I'll be doggone. He didn't even stop. He went right on past. Missouri. Well, he's run away, that's what. He's run away from the Lone Ranger. Uh, look at him covering the ground. There's something mighty peculiar going on, Mag. I should have got my rope and lassoed the horse. Oh, stop being so foolish, Missouri. The way he's traveling, not even a mountain wall would stop him. What were the mass men could be? Now what? Jasper Sneed and a bunch of riders. What does that yellow skunk want up our ranch? One thing certain, they can't be after silver. They're coming from a different direction altogether. Sure riding, lickety split. Howdy, gents. Didn't you hear, Missouri? He said howdy. Can't say you sound any too pleasant. It's been a bank robbery. A bank robbery? Just wait till I get my sheriff's badge, and we'll get after the sneaking hombres. That won't be necessary. We already got a good idea who done it. We stopped at your South Patch of Missouri. Took a look at the hay wagon out there. The hay wagon? Missouri? Don't you had that wagon put away? I did put it away. We saw it. What's more, we took a look at it. Here's what we found under the hay. Well, it's a sack. What was it doing there, Missouri? I don't know. It's not mine. Never saw it before. I figured you'd say that. Open it up. Huh? Go on. 
Well, the way you gents are staring at Missouri, you think he committed some crime. He has. He what? You mean... Well, I'll be jiggered. Missouri, this here sack's full of cash. It sure is. Missouri, that money is from the bank hold up. What was it doing in your hay wagon? Sneed, are you implying that I had it? I'm not implying, Missouri. I'm coming right out flat-footed. There's the evidence, that cash. You did that bank robbery. You're lying. Missouri never did a dishonest act in his life. Where'd you get that money? Somebody must have put it there. Sure. You put it there. You're plum loco, Sneed. Why don't you ask Banker Haskell? He'll tell you who robbed him. Banker Haskell is dead. Dead? You mean... You know all fired well what we mean. Banker Haskell is dead. He was shot in the holdup, and you did it. Missouri, we're putting you in jail. Here's Mustang Mag's ranch, Kimosabe. They should have heard us coming. Ah, no lights in ranch house. That's strange. Horses are still in the corral. Toto, there's someone crying. Uh, it must hang, Mag. She's in trouble. Mag, what's wrong? Get out. Whoever you are, get out. Mag, what is it? What are you crying about? The best man. The best man in Toronto. Mister, I was just praying you two would drop in. Of course, I wasn't really crying. I never cried in my life. Well, you got tears in the cheeks. Never you mind, Toronto. We... We saw Silver this noon, masked man. He galloped right on past. I should have known you'd come looking for him. Tonto and I have been trailing him this way. We think we know what's troubling him. But we don't know what's troubling you. Missouri's in jail. Huh? Yeah, just this afternoon. He's in jail for bank robbing and murder. Missouri never committed a crime in his life. Everyone knows that. Not Jasper Sneed. He's got a lot of influence. Besides, they found the stolen cash in Missouri's hay wagon. Mag, there's more to this than you've told us. They wouldn't dare hang Missouri. I wish I could be a certain. Masked men, I don't want to keep you and Tonto from your search. You're plumb anxious to corral Silver. He headed west. You go ahead and get him. Leave Missouri in trouble? Yes, go ahead. Oh, no, we not do that. Mag, Missouri's our friend. Silver's your horse, greatest horse in the world, and he's running free. Mag, Silver will have to wait. Besides, he can take care of himself. He's not behind bars like Missouri. Now, tell me about it. Well, it's right mystifying. You see, they found the cash, but there's a lot of gold dust missing, too. Gold and... dust, huh? From the Sageville Bank. Mister, you say that like you know something. Mag, take a look at this. Well, it's an empty pouch for gold dust. Ah. On the way here, we cross trail, we find pouch. Look at the mark burned into the leather. Mark burned into the... Sageville Bank. This is one of the pouches that held the missing gold. Missouri never got anywhere near where you must have found this. It's certain Missouri is innocent, Mag. The thieves must have planted the cash on him to divert suspicion from themselves. They got away with the gold. Mr. that's it. Mag, we're going after that gold. Yes, Count. Steady, boy. Before you and Tonda go, what about Missouri? He's in jail. If Sneed can get the rabble roused, he's apt to get Missouri strung up without a trial. I thought of that too, Mag. Hip. I want you to have Missouri's best horse waiting here. Huh? If necessary, we'll take him with us. But he's locked in a cell. If he's in trouble, we'll get him out. We know he's innocent. We're going after that gold. But first, we're riding for Sageville. This way, Tonto. Come on, boy. Get him up, scout. Mustang Mag was right. Look at that mob in front of the jail. Uh, and they got guns. They're trying to break in the door. And what we do? This horse the stagecoach driver gave me is a good fast horse, but he can never come up to Silver. Yes, he'll have to do. This way, Tonto, around and back. That's where the cells are. Missouri! Who's that? Missouri! Uh, Masked They're trying to break in the front. They say I shot Haskell. We spoke to Mag. We know all about it. I'm innocent. I've been trying to work on these bars, but I can't... They're loose. We're getting you out. Not loose enough to bust. And you can't go around in front, you wouldn't stand a chance. We'll pull the bars loose. Tano, get the lariats. Fasten one end to the saddle horns. Uh-huh. Top the saddle. Yes, it'll work. Uh, yeah. Ain't got ropes. Hurry, Kimasabi. Fasten them to the bars. Tied good and strong. Missouri, while Tano and I and the horses pull, you push against the bars, understand? We better hurry. All ready. Pull, boy. Get them up, scout. Pull the bars, Tano. They're going harder. <laughs> The mob bust at the door. They're pouring in the front. They'll be at the cell in a couple of Save your breath. Work on the bars. Pull, boy. Help. Pull on, Put all your strength into it. You're 
Forget it. You blew the bars right out of the frame. Come on, Missouri. I'll help you through the window. Me got ropes untied. The scout will have to do Silver's job, Tonto. Swing up behind Tonto, Missouri. Yeah. I'm on. Ride for it, mister. They're almost in my cell. Come on, boy. Faster. Keep up with Scout. Get him up, Scout. We got away just in time. The darkness will cover our escape. Keep riding. Head for the ranch. Get him up, Scout. It's all right, Meg. We got him out. Masked man. Missouri, I got your horse right here, ready to ride. Thanks, Meg. The masked man told me about that pouch him and Tonto found. We're riding to find the real thieves. Well, they must have headed west for the hills. It's Badlands, just the place for rats to hide. Tonto, Scout must need a rest, but we haven't time. Can he travel on? Uh, Scout do his best. I got my horse. Anytime you say, mister. We'll cut back to where we found that pouch and follow the trail from there. You think you can? It's old by now. We'll do it. I'll bet Sneed had plenty to do with this. If I... Guessing won't help, Missouri. We've got to get them dead to rights. We go now? One moment. Mag, I wanted to ask you. Have you seen any sign of silver? No, mister. Not since noon. But if those thieves headed west, you might find him. Silver headed that way, too. I hope so. All right, Missouri, on your horse. <laughs> Follow me. We're not going to rest till we find the robbers. Come on, boy. Get up there, Thunderbolt. Get him up, Scout. The Lone Ranger and his two friends found the spot where Tonto had picked up the empty pouch. The tracks were faint. But the Lone Ranger put aside all thoughts of the missing silver and checked every sign on the trail. Look here, Tonto. This grass is bruised. Ah. It leads to the west. Day after day, slowly but surely they moved west, hardly pausing for food or water or rest. We're getting into the hills. Here came a sabi. What this? Sagebrush. It's been trampled on by horses. The way the branches are broken, it wasn't so long ago. Only one day ahead now. They not go past. Do you recognize this country, Tonto? Ah. In Silver's home range. The valley we found him in isn't far off. He's probably there right now. Kimasabi, better you not think of Silver now. Better you think about outlaw, huh? The day's travel ahead... The outlaw band camped in the hills. Their leader, a man named Varley, waited as a horse and rider galloped in from the east. Howdy, Varley. Howdy, Sneed. Thought you was coming out from Sage Hill sooner than this. Yeah, it's a long ride, Varley. Besides, I spent a couple of hours in the valley back a ways. I saw a snow-white stallion roaming loose. The slickest, fastest, biggest horse I ever saw. And right beside him was another white horse. Only this one had... Never a... mind, horses. Fine time to stop and try to rope a wild animal when I we're... I tried, right... eh? But I couldn't even get close. Besides, that horse is important, Farley. What do you mean? That white stallion is a lone ranger's horse. Well, you're local. I'm telling you straight. You see, a couple of nights ago, just when they got a lynch mob together to string up old Missouri like we figured, a masked man and an engine got him out of jail. You certain it was a lone ranger? Positive, Farley. Only he wasn't riding his white horse. But that ain't what I come to tell you. Then get to the point, Sneed. Kino, they're trailing after you, Varley. I don't know where they picked up the trail, but the ranger and the engine in old Missouri are heading this way. About a day's journey more. I see. Who else? That's all. Just them three. Sneed, that's interesting. That's downright interesting. <laughs> as long as there's only three of them, it ought to be real easy to give them the same thing we gave Banker Haskell. Sudden death. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto headed west into the hills with Missouri on the trail of the bank robbers. But unknown to them, Jasper Sneed had already warned the outlaws. 
A trap was set, and the outlaws prepared for action. If they're following our trail, I know just the spot to try, Gulchum Sneed. Once we get rid of them three, there's nobody left to suspect us of that robbery. Where's Blackie? He's posted as a lookout. As soon as he sights them coming to the hills, he'll let us know. Where are you going to ambush him, Wally? You know the trail through the hills? Yeah. From where Blackie's watching, there's a hill you can spot. It's rocky and steep. The trail winds up to it, and it's hard to climb. Oh, I know the one. My boys will be hiding right around that grade, Sneed. They'll have the guns ready. Wally! Wally, I've seen them. They're coming. You sure? Certain. Three men, three horses. Going slow and watching the ground for signs. Good. If they're so interested in watching the ground, they don't stand a chance of seeing us. On your horses, we're traveling! <laughs> come on, come on, get it. Here we are, this is the spot. Scatter. Get behind rocks and trees. Get the horses back out of sight. Muzzle them and hobble them. Bring your rifles and take cover. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> Look at him, Sneed. We've only gone a few feet, and it's hard to spot them already. Yeah, it's twilight. Yeah, everything's getting hazy. Well, we better get posted, too. Yeah, uh, Valley, I was thinking maybe I ought to stay with the horses. You know, to watch the gold. Go ahead, I figured you was yellow. No, unless Don't deny I... it. If you had only gumped, you'd have shot Missouri back in town and saved us all this bother. Go ahead, Tommy was getting ready for him. <laughs> There's going to be a moon later, but they'll come before the moon rises. Yeah, it'll be nice and dark when they trot along the trail. Nice and dark. We come to hill now. In dark, you must hobby. Pretty soon we make camp, huh? At the top of that next hill, Tonto. We can't spot any tracks now. No. We'll have to make a dry camp, too, unless we find some water. Something wrong, masked man? It's too quiet, Missouri. Um, Tonto, not like. We'd better go a little faster. Masked man, look out! Missouri, they shot your horse. I saw that cook against the sky. He was aiming at you. Up on Scout. Uh, him carried up. They're all around us. What we do? Up the hill. If we get to the top, we can hold them off. Right for the hill. Come on, boy. Get him up, Scout. How long have we been up here on this rock? All night. All day. Sun go down for a second time. Well, I wish we had some water, or else I wish it would rain. It's not going to rain, Missouri. No, mister, not with that moon up there. Well, at least it's cooler than the sun was. I brought you into this. I'm sorry. It ain't your fault. And your horse, Missouri. Thunderbolt died when you rode him in front of me. He was a good horse. Best horse I had. <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes I used to think Thunderbolt was... Well, he meant almost as much to me as silver means to you, mister. That's a lot. Uh, maybe me right, Scout. Try and get past Outlaw, huh? I won't let you risk it, Toto. Scout is tired. He's worn. Needs rest. Uh. They're all around us. Reckon we stay up here till we just dry up and shrivel. My mouth's drier than Death Valley right now. What was that? Me not hear anything. Sounds like hoofs in the distance. I didn't hear nothing. I know. There. Yeah, hoofs. Then they stop. Uh. Wild horse travel that way. First gallop, then stop. Then gallop again, then stop. Perhaps I was mistaken, but I thought... Yeah, masked man? Silver's gallop sounded like that one. Oh, you make mistake. Silver not round here. He ran off, masked man. Wild horse valley isn't far from here. Oh, you mustn't let yourself get hopeful. Wild horse valley is way out of gunshot. Horses have a way of sensing trouble, Missouri. Kimosabe. Tonto, that is silver. By Juniper, maybe you're right. Look there in the moonlight, way off on that ridge. It's a white horse. It's silver. Sound the danger call, Tonto. Silver! Silver, this way! By gravy, look at him come in the ground. Here he comes! Here's silver! Like an arrow seeking its target, the great stallion answered his master's call. His hoofs thundered. His mane gleamed white in the moonlight as he charged through the surprised outlaw. <laughs> Bullets whistled past him harmlessly. In giant strides, he lunged up the rocky slope to take his place beside the lone ranger. Silver, you knew there was danger. Good boy, Silver. Good boy. What are you aiming to do? Hip. I'm riding for help, Missouri. Silver can cover the ground like the wind. You'll never get through those coyotes. Silver took them by surprise. But this time, they'll reach you with bullets. That's a chance we'll have to take. There's no other way. Hold them off as long as you can. You can count on Tonto and me for that. Good. Steady, boy. Now, Silver, down the slope. Come on, Silver. 
Once again, the great horse drove forward, his silver-shod hooves striking sparks against the rocks beneath him. The outlaws fired desperately as he raced toward them. Shoot! Bring him down! Now, Silver! Right over their heads! Jump, boy! Look out! He's jumping! Missed him! He jumped clean over my head! All right, you hombres. Never mind him. One got away, but we can still take care of them two up on top of the hill. There's no sense chasing that horse. I'm repeating over and over. If you men are trailing after Missouri, then I'm coming right along and you can't stop it. Ain't trying to stop you, Mag. And if you think Missouri stole that cash and murdered Haskell, you're from local. Uh, somebody done it. Why'd he break jail if he was innocent? Because Sneed talked you dumb critters into trying to string him up. Bunch of grown men starting a lynching bee. I reckon we were a mite hasty about that. Hasty ain't the word for it. And where's Sneed? Where'd he go to? I don't know. Will you stop being so far and calm about it? And for heaven's sake, will you go faster? Can't go faster, Mag. We're just guessing about that trail as it is. There ain't enough signs left to tell us a thing. You're headed west to tell you. We're going west. We'll get Missouri. Yeah. If we ever do get Missouri, I'll... Uh... Hello? Hello? What in thunder? It's the mask man. He's riding his silver. Mask man? He must be an outlaw. Don't be a tarnation agent. That there's a lone ranger. What? You heard me, the lone ranger. He got Missouri out of jail, and you better listen to him. Post your guns. Mustang Mag knows me. Mr. Where's Missouri? Where's Tondra? They're up ahead, Mag, surrounded by outlaws. What outlaws? The outlaws who robbed the Sageville Bank. Missouri done that. Missouri didn't do it. He's innocent, and he needs your help. The sooner we get there, the better. They have no water. Mister, lead the way. Then follow me and drive your horses hard. <laughs> faster, old fella, faster. Well, too Tano, Tano, seems like I hear horses coming this way. But I've been listening for him so hard, I, I can't be certain. Wait, stay down. Tonto, look. I still hear it. Come on, Silver. It's Masked Man. Look there. Do what you're right. Donna, we've got a posse. They're going to tangle with the outlaws. Yippee, Donna, I feel stronger already. They fight all around. I feel stronger already. Where's that horse? This cow's. Steady, dog. Go in. Let me get on you. Uh, look at the Masked Man use his guns. Come on, horse. Come on, Stone. Lay down your guns. Lay down your guns or shoot it out. Oh, he's oh. got them. They're throwing down their guns. Sneed, you're coming with me. Step along. Go oh, shoot, Mask Man. I dropped my guns. Just leave me alone. Tonto, Missouri. Oh, Tony, Kimasabi. You get here plenty fast. Mag, where's the leader of this posse? Here I am, mister. We got Volley and the rest of those sidewinders all corralled, ready to take back for trial. All right, Sneed. Start talking. All right, all right. Go ahead. All right, all right. Missouri, he, he had nothing to do with that bank robbery. It was me, me and Volley's gang. We planted the cash so Missouri would get the blame while we got away with the gold. Mask Man? I reckon we come mighty close to making a bad mistake. But me and my boys will take care of things correct from now on in. Come along, Sneed. You're getting a trial, which is more than you wanted from Missouri. Uh, come along, now. Get on there. Here's some water for you in town, though, Missouri. <clears throat> After what we've been through, this tastes like nectar. Uh, it's hip good. <laughs> What's Silver so impatient about? It's all over. He's dancing around like a skittish colt. Silver has his reasons. I think Tonto and I know what they are. Ah, uh, Silver him leave master and then come back. Say, that's so. But where'd he go? Yeah, mister. What's all the mystery? What are you and Tonto smiling about? Silver, old boy, are you ready to show us? I'm letting the reins fall, old fellow. You lead the way. Take us where you want to go. <laughs> Well, I'll be doggone. He's heading straight for Wild Horse Valley. What's he? Oh, uh, you come along. You see. Wild Horse Valley was a place of deep, lush grass that waved in cool breezes. The clear air was filled with the song of birds, and cold mountain streams sparkled down from the surrounding slopes. At one of the streams, a two-year-old colt stood drinking. His coat was white and smooth. In everything but size, he was the image of Silver, the Lone Ranger's horse. But then, as he heard the approaching hoofs, he raised his head. Between his eyes was a black star. He watched the approaching figures with eager eyes, tossing his mane and stamping his small hoofs. Then as Silver whinnied, the colt kicked up his heels and raced to join him. Well, I'll be doggone. He come right up to Silver. The finest two-year-old ever saw. 
He's the dead image of silver except for that black star on his forehead. Why, he's enough like him to be silver's own son. Enough like him to... Gosh almighty, mister. Is that it? Is that the mystery? That's the answer, Missouri. Tonto and I heard rumors of a two-year-old as fast as silver himself. And when silver ran away, we knew it must be true. That colt is silver's son. Look at him. I never saw a pair of horses like that in all my born days. Gosh, what I wouldn't give to own a horse like that. You don't have to give anything, Missouri. The colt is yours. Yes, sir, anything I own. What? Mask man, did you say he, he's mine? Silver son? You lost your horse to save my life, Missouri. I'm paying back that obligation by giving you another horse on two conditions. Mr. Namum, anything you say is all right with me. Anything for that colt. I want the right to name him myself. And if anything should ever happen to Silver, I want you to let me use his son. Mister, it's a deal. Why, just look at him, Mag. Silver and cool. <laughs> Little fella, him want to run. Maspain, just take a gallop up the valley and back. Let's see that colt run alongside Silver. All right, Mag. Come on, Silver. Come on, little fella. <laughs> little horse, him go plenty fast. Him worthy son of Silver. Gosh. The son of silver. Will you look, Mag? Did you ever see anything so downright pretty in your life? The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.